Yo, Troy, I got for you, man. Nice. Can't wait for those new textbooks. Here's your change, man. What the heck? I thought I gave you a thousand dollars. Textbooks supposed to only be seven hundred. It was, but I thought it's something you'll like more than textbooks. What did you buy? Man, you bought me sneakers? What kind are these? Dude, you bought me the rust pink? Are you crazy? You spent a thousand on this? Uh. Oh shoot, I was trying to surprise you. This is a yin yang pair of the AJ1. We're gonna turn it into the Rust Pink, which is a Miami exclusive. They call it the Art Basil Pack, and it was extremely hard to get. They literally had to change the location of the release multiple times, and they finally released it on a boat. So, yeah, so I turned this shoe into that pair, and I just wanna give you a closer look of what the shoe looks like. Um, starting with the side panel right here, you can see you got the white canvas with the black swoosh, got the black. Air Jordan Wings logo and just gonna give you a cl cleaner view of the front you can see here the really nice part is the actual tumble on the bottom of the toe box I'm not sure if you can tell but if I press on it you can see that the tumble right there the detail actually pops out so really like that leathery feel it's like a semi butter type of uh, you know consistency so it's really nice see the top part right here is not as buttery or soft but you know, it's, it's, it's there. You can see that there's some tumble right there. And yeah, you got the clean front here. Show you the inside. And here's the side view. What's nice is the bottom. You can see that the bottom is, man, it's just so crystal clear. It's very clean. I'm just really excited to turn this into a rust pink. Here's the other side. This is what it looks like together. It's gonna be awesome. Turning, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna paint this for the first time. You see I have all my materials right here. Super excited to do this and yeah, let's get this started. After hours and hours of work, I'm finally done. This is my first custom paint project on a shoe, and I felt for a first timer, um, you know, it came out way better than expected. So let me show you a quick overview of what I've done. You can see here, um, the shoe pretty much came in all white, and the swoosh already came black. So what I did was paint the upper panels black here, all the way to the side panels, connecting all the way down to the lower panel and going all across. So painted all this black. 
And then the pink was what I did last. I did the pink last just because the coating is easier. And I really, I feel really good about how, you know, how clean and you know smooth the pink uh, color came out to be. So the hardest part about making this shoe was doing the Air Jordan logo. So shout out to Ivan from Sneaker in the Bay. I have no idea how you did it expertly because the way his turned out was like really clean. Mine looks clean from far. You, you can't really tell any flaws. But if I go in, you can see that, you know, it's not as smooth as it's supposed to be. But you know what? It's all good. I can't make it perfect and I try my best. So I'm happy with the outcome. So you can kind of see that, you know, there's some... There's some adjustments that need to be made, but hey, I'm happy with the outlook and you know, no one's ever gonna look, go into your shoe and be like, oh, look at, look at all those like, you know, imperfections. They never do that. From a far point of view, you could tell that it looks really good. And secondly, the Nike Air logo was really difficult to do. I had to do several layers of white coating to make this tag from a red tag to a white tag. So several white coatings and at the end had to be very stable with the hands. So I have really, really shaky hands. And when I was painting the Nike Air logo, I was like, all right, Troy, don't shake. Don't shake too much, <laughs> don't shake. And it was really difficult. So yeah, that was really hard. Um, really happy the way it turned out. You could see here, um, you know, it's not perfect. There's some flaws on it. And from far away, you could barely tell. And overall, really happy the way it just turned out. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below and hit that subscribe button. Have a great one everyone. Peace.